you to meet me personally. A nephew I'd never seen. My curiosity got the better of me. Welcome to Austria, Peter. The Baron's name is not exactly popular around these parts. For the villagers, he was not a fictional character, but real. And his victims were real people. Peter Kleist. Peter is a direct descendant of Baron von Kleist. Baron Blood, they call him. Well, I hope you haven't inherited his disposition. One never knows. They say one of his favorite pastimes was to impale anyone who incurred his displeasure on stakes, planting their bodies up on this tower as a warning to others. Hey. Hey! Open the door! Sator Olmar. I beseech thee, O Elizabeth Holly, reach the fiery depths of hell and bring forth the evil spirit of Baron Otto von Kleist to this, the chamber of his tortured death. Sator Homa, change thy heart and take him away. Homat Sator Kunik, take him away to the darkest depths and break thy incantation. Who could that be? It is probably a painting of von Kleist. I swear they were following me. He's looking at me. Kunik Sator Holmat. Kunik Sator Holmat. Kunik Sator Holmat. Kunik Sator Holmat. Trust this toy for us, yeah. I, I, I need an ambulance. Search and type. <laughs>
Tied by an expert animal, which leads us to suppose that Nels was present. Get out, but we're looking for him. You've come to talk to me about the Baron. Oh, remarkable. It was a foolish thing you did, and a dangerous thing. He will destroy you if he can. Thus, the Baron has only you two to fear. Christina, can you help us? No, I cannot. I must not. These two who brought back your murderer would speak with you. Come before the rock that shall forever mark the place of thy death. Come, Elizabeth. You lost the parchment. Oh. Fools. Curse shall stand. Forever. Forever. Oh. And the Baron. And the Baron. Shall suffer. Shall suffer. Forever. 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 Uh. Now because of you. I have made him suffer. Him suffer again. I will tell you the you. You have the power to crush him. The agony of hell. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it.
cannot escape him, Christina. You cannot escape him. Four people disappeared. He doesn't care. And all in the vicinity of the castle. I don't get it. Gretchen! my bike. I stopped to look at the castle and I hurt myself when I, yes? I tried to, to jump on my bike. I saw the bushes move because the ghost was there. Look, doctor, Mr. Becker is there over himself. Don't you think we should warn him of this? I have completed the restoration of the castle, including a few items that may surprise even you. Why don't you drop by this evening? Oh, all of you. <laughs> all well, of thank you, you, of course. Sir. I promise you won't be disappointed, Dr. Hull. Mr. Becker is the ghost. What do you mean, darling? I know him anywhere. His eyes burn like fire. All right, Gretchen, that's enough now. Wait a moment. Hmm? What do we really know about Becker? Personally, nothing. How is it he suddenly appeared at the auction? He's the only one who's not afraid to stay by himself in the castle. And yet, what about his face? Up there, that painting. I am really delighted to see you. Good evening, Mr. Becker. I'm so glad you could come too, Doctor. Um, Habeka. Isn't that Baron von Kleist? Yes. Well, it really seems very odd to me, Habeka, that the whole painting was restored except for the face. I understand that he was a sadist and a murderer. And quite probably insane. Insane? Hmm. Well, what do you think? Did you see that? My God, it's pretty strong. But they seem so lifelike. Anybody would think they were, they were real. A magnificent effect, Herr Becker. If it is just an effect. Oh, Peter. I've restored not only the furniture of the castle, I've tried to recreate the uh, atmosphere, the personality of its original owner. The Baron's will not only dominated this castle, but all the valley below, the people were necessary only for his convenience. <laughs> Those whom he found inconvenient. <laughs> Follow me. I'm particularly pleased with the meticulous and exacting restoration of this dungeon. I'd like to leave, please. It's all very fascinating, but I'm afraid we must be going. Do come back soon for a longer visit. A much longer visit. I'm sure he's the Baron. But if he is, why did he let us go? 
Do you have the amulet? Oh, yes, sir. We've got to try to send his ghost back. But it's the past. Peter, please. Peter, you've unleashed a monster on the world. You must try to send him back. Is your scientific interest waning? Baron Otto von Kleist. You are Baron von Kleist. The circumstances oblige me to eliminate my only living male descendant. Go back. Go back. Go back to wherever you came from. Go Child. back. Do you think you can destroy me with a Good chat, Doc. for you. No. No. There'll be no coming no. back. <laughs> you shall join the others that propose my will. No. No. Blood and evil shall be destroyed only by those he has himself destroyed. You, his victims, have the power to crush him and make him suffer the agonies of hell. Use it before it's too late! <laughs> Let me take sweet revenge. Let me please. Please. Let me cut into his heart. Please. 